Hello, hello everybody. Uh, we're back with another episode and today we have a very special guest. She's actually my neighbor. We have Yan Hua with us today. Woo! Hi everyone, I'm Yan Hua. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Hi, Hi thanks for, for coming on board. We actually have known each other for very long. <laughs> Ever since we were like kids. I think so, you know. Yeah, we were, we were living in the same block but yes, we didn't correct. realize this. Exactly. Until we were like adults. So yeah, serendipity. <laughs> I'm excited and I hope you are too. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the show. Yay! Session. It's 
chrysanthemum. Yes, chrysanthemum. So how are you gonna? Tea number two. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Yes. Oh my god! What is this? This is um um. Do you like it or not? Actually, I love it. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Oh my god! This one is a tricky one. Can I have like three? Three, three tries? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, first choice is vinegar tea. Okay. Second choice is kombucha. Okay. Third choice is apple cider. It tastes more like kombucha. Ding 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 ding! ding. <laughs> there you go! Yay! Yeah, right. Last and final one! Okay, how am I gonna drink this? You can pour this in. Why don't you just drink it? <laughs> So this is the hardest one because this tea got a lot of ingredients. But you can just guess one of the ingredients you create. Mm. <laughs> you know I drink a lot of tea but I don't recall that this taste. <laughs> What's this? There's like chamomile inside, is it? No. <gasps> I can't, this one I can't. Okay, Sorry. so this one right is oh. uh this by this brand called David's Tea and oh. it's actually the, the name of the tea is Honey Ginseng Defense. Oh, okay. it's supposed to like help your immune system. Mm. And inside the tea there is honey. Okay. There is ginseng. Okay. There is oolong tea. Oh. Uh, there is goji. There is like marigold flower. Oh wow, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, this one is a tricky one. Yay, you got one out of three, correct? Better than zero. <laughs> Better than nothing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is fun, this is fun. Once again, thanks for coming uh, Thank and you. performing that. Really, really nice song. Thank you. Uh, what's the title again? It's called Hui Gu Niang, Cinderella. Okay, maybe you can tell us a bit more about like your song. Okay, so... How, what were you thinking when you came up with mm -hmm. that? For the Cinderella, it's more of like, um, you know, telling all the, all the ladies out there, you don't need a man in your life, you can be independent and um, just just be yourself. I mean like now, you know, in the in the, in the the world and, and this generation, everybody is... Women is also independent. Yeah. So, you know, we work for ourselves, we earn our money and everything. We don't really depend on men. That's how I see it right now. La. So, uh, that's why I wrote the song. That's very empowering. I love it. I love it. Love Thank the message. You. Today, I'm going to try something different. Okay. I'll give you the choice to pick the question. Okay. okay. I'm hoping you'll pick the one that's in line with your, your, your song. Oh. Yes. What is your goal as an artist? What gives you meaning to the things you do, music you make? I'm actually trying to make songs that are happy and like I just said like empowering and everything so yeah. I will always hope that people listen to more of the lyrics of the songs that we, we write for everybody okay. you know? That's my main goal and uh, eventually I will hope that when I have my kids they will they will be proud of you know proud of me and say that oh you know uh, my mom actually sings this this certain kind of genre and uh, you know there's meaning to, to the songs. Yay! I was hoping you would pick that. <laughs> Are your biggest female role models in life and music? Yes. In life, definitely my mom. Since young, right? As much as uh, she don't really okay, it started off as she don't really support me doing music. But uh, as I grow older and I actually went for competition, she was there to support me. And I realized her way of supporting is like I will never tell you, I will never compliment you, mm. but you will always know that I'll be there. Mm. I, I will use another way to show you that I love you. There are times where I come back after work and I'm, I'm feeling sick or anything, mm -hmm. right? She'll be like, she will not say anything, but she will, she will prepare the medicine on the table or, or make some tea for me, you know. Last and final question mm. that you pick from this one. Let me try this. True or false, passion is more important than money. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this yeah. uh, off camera. Yeah, yeah. correct. Um, okay, I feel that passion is definitely more important than money because if without passion you I don't think you will feel anything doing anything, you know? I I mean money is still important in life but uh, I think money is important to everybody. But passion I, f I feel that there's a lot of people out there doesn't really have a passion that they really like. So for me having a, a passion like music is it's very meaningful. Yeah. Alright, thank you once again for thank coming you so much. on board. If you guys like her stuff, please go and find her. Um, What's your handle? It's called A Yen A Hua A H Y E N A H H U A And uh, my Facebook will be Yen Hua Y E N H U A Yes, go listen to a song Hui Kuniang Thank you Gua Nian Gua Nian Yes, that's right Thank you everybody See you next episode Bye Thank you so much <laughs>